Deb, appreciate your time. Thanks for doing this. Welcome to the 2022 golf season. It's obviously an exciting time for everybody as the weather starts to warm up. How's the excitement in Portage for the uh, start to the big weekend? It is very exciting around here. Um, nice to get started on the season. Our leagues got started and uh, got back at it this week. And looking forward to our 100th anniversary dinner and dance coming up tomorrow. Yeah, let's expand on that. And uh, that's obviously why we've had a chance to connect here today, because it is a special weekend and a special year for the Portage Golf Club celebrating 100 years. Uh, what does it mean for you to be involved so closely with that golf course and the property there to have the milestone uh, that's here now in 2022? It's very important and very special, obviously, to be involved with uh, the club, especially during this season. This is my fifth year here at Portage, and I've been here long enough to, you know, sink some roots in, feel a sense of community, and really feel a part of the club. And it's going to be fun to be able to get together with uh, the members and celebrate this milestone this weekend. Tell me about your membership, uh, what the numbers look like there, and how the course, I know through COVID and everything that uh, the golf world has gone through, I think golf is one of the things that has been able to expand, uh, not only here in Manitoba, re really across Canada. Absolutely. We've seen incredible growth here, just like many courses across Canada. We've Our membership is over 300 and climbing still. Uh, a lot of new members jumping on board, uh, a couple dozen new ones last year, still more new ones coming on now. And uh, we've gone from an average of you know, 21, 22,000 rounds a year up to a little over 27,000 rounds last year. So we're off to a good start and uh, looking forward to finally getting into the golf season now that uh, summer's decided to arrive. We are excited about the weather. There's no doubt. Uh, I know the festivities are maybe more indoors coming up this weekend for you as you kick off the 100th celebration. So for those that are unaware and for those that still want to take part, uh, what's planned for tomorrow? Tomorrow is our 100th anniversary dinner and dance. So we've got a banquet going on over at the MNP building here on the island. The clubhouse here isn't large enough to facilitate uh, the attendance. So We've got a catered dinner going over there, followed by uh, dancing with the local DJ here, and then uh, a couple other events planned for the summer. And let's expand on those. Uh, walk us through the calendar of events as we celebrate 100 years. The next event uh, coming up will be on Tuesday. We've got a commemorative stone unveiling Tuesday afternoon. We've got the mayor coming with uh, some city councillors who are also past presidents of the club. And uh, we'll be unveiling our century plaque. And then coming up on Saturday, June 11th, we've got our Vegas scramble. It's going to be a six person event and uh, a fun day of golf. It's got tea times available all through the day on Saturday with a dinner following your play and uh, should prove to be good for some laughs and some entertainment within the group. The uh, Vegas scramble, all six players will tee off and then you roll the dice to see whose tee shot you use. So we're, uh, we've got lots of room left in that one, so uh, certainly get your group together and get booked in. Whether you're a group of two, four, or six, anything in between, we can certainly accommodate you. How can people get involved if uh, they'd like to do so? Easiest way is just give the pro shop a call. We can get you booked in just like a tea time on any other day. And uh, they can also shoot me an email via the or anything via the club social media channels as well. Yeah, before we let you go, we see the picture up and behind you. Uh, I've had a chance to play your golf course a couple of times over the last handful of years here. The uniqueness of being on the island. For those that haven't played the Portage Golf Club as of yet, tell us a bit about it and why somebody should either make the trip from Winnipeg or anywhere across the province to, uh, to come play your 18 holes. It's a deceiving course. It seems to be relatively straightforward and simple to play, but... Uh... It plays long and the greens can trick you in a few places, but uh, it's certainly a challenge for every caliber golfer, but uh, a lot of fun to play as well. And then the, as you can see in the picture, um, we've got a few holes right along the edge of the crescent. So we finish off on a good note. You got to play the edge of the crescent all the way in on 16, 17 and 18. So those errant tee shots can certainly catch you down the stretch. No lead is safe if you get to that uh, 15th green, eh? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Appreciate the insight. Thanks for doing this. Uh, once again, for anybody that wants uh, more information on the Portage Golf Club, just uh, get online or give you a call. Absolutely. We can be reached any number of avenues. All right. Thanks again. Enjoy the weekend. I know it's uh, an exciting 
weekend and uh, obviously summer for everybody involved here with celebrating 100 years. Thanks for your time. Thank you.